guys welcome to online Rick tutor i am sanjay we are learning advanced coordinator for tutorials this is part number 10 inside this video we will see the concept that is how to work with filters so first of all we need to understand that what are filters so filters are like middle views and as we know that middle views acts as a barrier for http request in application middle views filters which request is valid and which request is invalid so we will see the concept of filters and their implementation inside this video so for this video we have an article over this blogging website click here articles code igniter 4 next we need to click on this search icon and if i type the keyword called filters press enter now we can see that after typing this filters keyword, here we have an article that is how to work with filters in CodeIgniter 4. If I click on this article link, you will find the complete documentation about complete implementation inside this article. We will see the whole concept inside this video as well. Now if I back to editor, to understand the concept of filters, here we have a fresh installed CodeIgniter 4 setup. Now if I back to slide, so as we have taken few routes here, as we can see, route 1 is protected. It means if we want to access this route 1 value, then user must be logged in. Otherwise, unauthenticated access will not access this route 1 value. And route 2 is open for all types of user. It does not need like user is logged in or user is not logged in. Route 2 will be accessed for all types of user. But Route 1 is protected it means logged in user can only access. Here we have the third route. By the help of this route actually we are going to make the user as logged in. And we have the fourth route as logout. After hitting this logout route, we will destroy the session value. To implement all these routes and the concept of filter, we need a filter as well as a controller. So if I back to terminal, currently we are inside this setup. So let's create our controller first. So PHP, Spark. Here we have make controller and let's say user. I will pass suffix as a flag. It means it will create user controller.php file. If I press enter, as we can see that it has created inside app controllers and here we have the controller file. If I back to editor, go and reload, go inside this app folder, controllers and here we have user controller. So for now, inside this index, let's echo with an h1 tag let's say that welcome to home page now inside this user controller class we will define two other methods like for the login and logout so public function let's say login and inside this login we will set a session value which is going to check or provide the user login status so inside this let's say set user active now we need to create one more method let's say public function and it will be logout inside this logout we will remove the session value now next we need to create few more methods for this route 1 and route 2 so go here inside this controller let's say public function route 1 let's echo with an h1 tag this route is protected now if i'll copy this route 1 method paste one more time this is for route 2 and this route is open for everyone open for all so we have total number of methods equal to this is the by default method of this controller next we have one for login one for logout one for route one and other for route two now inside this login method we need to set 
the user status equals to active. So we will use session helper or you may say session library. So to set session value session. Next we have a set method. Inside this set method we need to pass the key. So let's say that is logged in and we will pass the value equals to 1. It means when we hit this method what it will do it will set a session value with the key called is logged in and inside this key we have the value equals to 1. Now inside this logout method when we hit this logout method simply we will destroy our session value. So for that we need to use session destroy method automatically the session destroy will destroy all the session values and user will be log out. Now we have prepared all the methods. Now next we need to go inside this config folder. Open routes.php where we can configure and create our application routes. Go here. Let's say that route. It's routes using get request type. And here let's say route 1 as we know that this is a protected route now it will go and use user controller and from user controller it will call the method called route 1 so if i will copy the method name and pasting it here next i will copy and paste it here this is for route 2 route 2 next i will copy paste two more times this is for the login let's say login and here this is for logout now for this login route it will call the login method of user controller and it will call the logout method of user controller now if i will save all these changes go inside this terminal and let's start development server so php spark serve go here Let's type localhost 8080 port and if I type route 1 so as we know that this route is protected but now we are able to open this route without any login. Also if I type this route 2 again this route is open for all types of user. So we have the use case as when we want to open this route 1 which is a protected route. So while opening this route we need to first check that the user must be logged in. Otherwise this route will not be accessed. Now here filters concept comes into play. While processing this route 1 we want that user must be logged in. So how can we add our filters concept inside this route? So first of all, we need to create a code igniter for filter. If I back to terminal, again we will use the spark command to create a filter file. So if I close this development server, let's say php, spark and if I press enter, now go inside this generators and inside this generators, we can see we have a command called make filter. See here the description. It will go and generate a new filter file. Let's use this command to create a code igniter for filter file. So php spark make filter and we need to give a filter name. So let's say that auth and I will pass a suffix here. It means automatically it will create a file with the name authfilter.php. And the created file will go inside this app inside this filters folder right now there is no file inside this filters if I back to terminal press enter now auth filter.php file has been created and it has stored inside this filters folder if I back to editor go and reload and here as we can see we have a file now inside this file we can see that we have a skeleton of code. Inside auth filter class, we have two methods called a before method and after method. What are the use of this before and after method? As we know that 
The filters are like middlewares which acts as a barrier for HTTP request. It filters about which request is valid and which request is invalid. So before processing of any HTTP request, all the logics we will implement inside this before method. And after processing of any HTTP request, the later on logic will be implemented inside this after method. Now inside this case, like implementation of filters on route access, we want that while entering inside this route 1, we want to check that the user must be logged in or not. So this will logic, this logic will go inside this before method. So inside this before method, we need to check the user means login status. So let's say if session, we will use the get method and inside this we need to access the key what we have set inside this login method. So I will copy this is logged in, go and pasting it here and let's say that if this value is not set, it means user is not logged in. So inside that situation return, let's say redirect, we will use two and here let's say base URL and inside this we will put a route with no access and this is the route actually we need to create so go inside routes.php i will copy pasting it here and let's say no access let's create a method inside this user controller so i will copy go inside user controller let's say that public function no access echo within h1 tag h1 tag let's say access denied now if i will save all these changes so here we have successfully created our auth filter and implemented the concept of login check means login check when open route inside this before method now next we need to register this filter inside this application because right now this filter is useless if we want to use this filter, we need to register this filter inside this application. So to register this filter, we need to go inside app, config folder and inside this config folder, we have a file called filters.php. So let's import this file first inside this filters. So use auth filter. We have imported. This auth filter is coming from filters folder. This is all about the namespace go inside this aliases and here let's simply call my auth and here this is auth filter what we have created and it's a class so successfully now we have created a filter and registered inside this filters now again let's start development server first if i back to browser Let's open a duplicate tab. This is for route 1 and this is for route 2. Again we are saying that while accessing this route 1, login is not checking because this route 1 is already open to all users. So how can we check or implement the concept of filter to this route? So as we know that this route is protected, so we need to implement this auth filter concept inside this route one route. So how can we add? Simply go here inside this third parameter value, create an array and simply write filter. We need to pass the alias name of the filter what we have created and this is my auth. So simply I will copy and paste it here. Now if I go reload this page and as we can see that access denied because user is not logged in but when we go inside this route 2 it is open to all users but here route 1 is now protected if we want to open this route 1 again press enter automatically now it has redirected inside this no access page because when we open this route on value, first of all, this filters worked 
and my auth it means alias of this filter file before method executed and inside this before method we have a logic of session status check and as we know that is locked in is not set so that's why it is redirecting inside this no access page but now let's see that if we want to open this login method it will go and set this session value so i will open a duplicate tab press enter session value now set it means user is logged in because when we pressed this login it has created a is logged in key inside session which has a value equals to 1 now if i open this time let's say route to 1 press enter now as we can see that successfully we are accessing this route 1 route it's because now this time user is logged in session value is active but in case if we type this logout it will destroy our session value so when we type logout press enter now it has destroyed the session value again go and uh, if i press enter as you can see that access denied so this is all the concept guys how can we implement and work with filters in code igniter 4 right now we have a single route we have a single route which is protected so that's why we have implemented and added our filter in line but in some cases if we have 10 or 20 of routes so we need to create route group first inside that route group we need to add our filter concept if i back to article go here all the concept is explained here this is all about registration creating an alias name so here as you can see that we have set a session value implemented the concept inside this before method now next this is all about adding our filter inside this one line route but if suppose we have plenty of routes so in that situation simply add this route group we to add our filter array so bypassing this filter array it means now these routes are protected while accessing all these two routes first of all the before method of this filter will work so successfully guys inside this video we had seen the concept of using filters inside code igniter 4 step by step so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day